they, they advertise it as the superhumans are coming. That was their big tagline that they had. Next year's race is going to be in July, right at the end of July. So it'll be a little nicer, it'll be better for the spectators. And people say, oh, what race should I go and watch? And they think they should go and watch the elite people race. That's not the fun race. The fun race, well, I don't know if fun is the word, interesting race, are the para athletes, the guys who have disabilities. Because I make sure, I, I, those are the guys I need to watch. And last year, because the Olympics were coming, a lot of the elite para athletes weren't there. But they had been there the year before. And I like to watch the start of the swim, where they get out of the water. And the way the para athletes get out of the water, you got no legs, it's hard to get out of the water on your own. So people go down and lift them to carry them out of the water to get this little sling that they put them in, they run up, so these guys can go on with the race. And I was standing there, and I got choked up. I still get choked up when I think about it. There was this woman who came down for the race. She's doing this para race, and it's the same distances. It's not like they're getting a break on this thing. They still have to swim their 750 meter swim with the worms. Then they've got to get out, get to their bike, go up Emily Murphy Hill twice last year, two years ago, four times they had to go up Emily Murphy Hill. And their bikes, you don't have legs, you can't push the pedal. They're cranking the bikes like this. And then when they get off their bikes, they're rolling it like this. We're talking big shoulders. But this woman comes up, and when she comes up, she's got a little aluminum crutches. She comes up, and she gets there, and she's talking to the, the marshals that are going to have everything done there. And she says, well, you know, what's supposed to happen? And they say, well, you're gonna, we're going to take you over here. That's where you're going to be starting from. And she says, well, where am I supposed to leave my legs? And I go, what? You're, you're that comfortable that you can just go, where do I leave my legs? because she's going to need her legs when she gets out of the water. I'm going, oh my cow, I'm complaining about a bad knee. <laughs> Another guy comes up. My son and I were calling him Stumpy because he had two stumps. He comes up, but he's not coming on his, his crutches or his prosthetic legs. He's coming up on his knuckles. He's just got, he's put his arms down like this, and he swings himself forward. So he didn't have any help to get there. And when it comes and they take him up, He's going to where his bike is, just on his arms. Gets on his bike, rides away. When he comes back for the run, his real name was Jones, he was from the US. He's got these legs. Like if you remember Oscar Pistorius, the blade runner, he had one leg like that and he would run. This guy had two and they were straight so there were no joints in them. So he would run like this. He had his legs out and he was running like that. The guy, it was amazing how fast he was and just swinging this thing after, you know, like how much muscle can you have in your leg when you've only got this much leg? So I see these guys, they're just going, how do you guys, how do, you guys do that? And they're all just, you do what you gotta do. You know, make a point of talking to them. There were two guys, there was a blind guy, so they're on a tandem bike. The uh, blind people have a guide to take them around. And that was really annoying for one guy because his guide was slower than he was. <laughs> but he's got to wait for the guide. I could see it when they were running. <laughs> they came screaming down Emily Murphy Hill on his bike. And the guy didn't know the area. And of course, the blind guy can't see anything. <laughs> and I hear the guy on the bike yelling, hard, hard, hard. And they're talking about the brakes because they came swooping down. And you got to make a sharp left hand turn to get into Horlock Park. And if you don't, you're into the fence where Mayfair <laughs> Golf Course is. And I thought for sure they were going to hit that thing. It was just like come around and just miss the curb. Exactly the same thing the second time around because they're flying. There was, when I was giving out the water for the para athletes, there's two runners coming towards me. One of them's blind, the other one's the guide, and they're attached with a tether when they're running. They both had sunglasses when they went past me. They're coming back the other way where I've got the water bottle. I'm holding the water bottle up and you don't have your sunglasses on. And I don't know which one's the blind. <laughs> so I'm holding the water bottle up. As I hold the water bottle out like this, I'm thinking, if she's the guide, 
and she's the blind runner, the blind runner's getting the water bottle right in the face. I'm thinking, let's take it over here. And they neither one of them, but you couldn't tell which was which. Like you might think the blind person's gonna run a little differently. No, they're just sprinting through. 